So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to prepare for the up and coming CPI data report tomorrow. What's going on guys, it's Ricky. And yes, I will be live streaming the CPI data report, which is also known as the inflation report tomorrow. It is going to be released one hour before the market opens. That is at 8.30 a.m. Eastern time, or fortunately for me, because I live in Arizona, it's at 5.30 a.m. I plan to go live 10 minutes before the CPI data report is released. And if you don't want to miss out, get this video to over 1,000 likes, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and turn on your post notifications. I can't stress this enough. YouTube will not notify you when I go live if you do not turn on your post notifications next to the subscribe button once you actually subscribe. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. I wanted to share with you, even if you don't tune on in tomorrow for my live stream, I want you to understand what the market's expectation is, what their forecast is, and also where this report is and how you can read it. And I really hope that, especially for those beginners out there, that this video just gets you one step closer to understanding how to learn more about, again, the CPI data reports and also how they uh, how these economic reports um, overall affect the market. So this is from investing.com uh, and it has an overall forecast for the up and coming, again, September 13th, 2023 CPI data report. And the forecast is 3.6%. Our current inflation rate or the yeah inflation rate is 3.2 percent so they are expecting inflation to go up but ricky i thought inflation was going down it was right um if you don't understand necessarily why it's going back up i'll explain that in just a little bit but as of right now that's what the market is currently factoring in right so if it comes in as expected the market necessarily should not react in a super um i would say aggressive way because the, the thing that you should know about the stock market is often enough, it tends to factor things in in advance based off of these forecasts. So markets already factoring in that it's going to go from 3.2% to 3.6%. Now, if inflation comes in at 37 or 3.8, something much higher than what was forecasted and factored in, then yes, the market could maybe sell off a little bit more because again, that wasn't something that was factored in already. If it comes in at 3.4, maybe 3.5, then again, that's lower than what was expected. Maybe the market will rally because again, it didn't come in as high as what was expected. Now, what is the significance of this CPI data report or inflation report? The reason it's so significant, it's telling us month over month if inflation is going up or down. And the reason that's important is because the Federal Reserve, who hosts these monthly FOMC meetings, well, not every month, but uh, almost every month, they determine if they're going to raise rates, pause rates, or cut rates. They haven't cut any rates in 2023, but they have paused. And that's the question. Is inflation going to come in high enough that they're going to justify raising rates again, which is not currently factored in? Or are rates going to, or is inflation going to come in low enough that they can stay dovish and continue to pause, not increasing the overall interest rate for people like you and I to borrow money? Remember, if they continue to raise rates, it makes it more expensive for people like you and I and businesses to borrow money. And if it's more expensive for us to borrow money, it really contracts the economy, right? If it's cheaper to borrow money, we're more likely to borrow money, therefore more likely to spend more money. So this is the opposite. When they see inflation is going up, they want to slow down the economy to bring down the inflation rate. And the way that the Federal Reserve does that is with the tools of being able to raise, again, interest rates and being able to make it more expensive for us to borrow money. Now, where is this report going to be released? Again, I want you to understand this. This is on bls.gov forward slash CPI. This is a free website available to everyone. This is the official website on where the report is actually released. So to put this into, you know, um, use, it might be a little bit overwhelming. It quickly um, explains to you what the CPI data report is, what, what it's the measure of. Right away, the HTML is going to be available. So if you tune on into our live stream tomorrow for the CPI live stream, you'll see that I'm going to break down the HTML because the PDF sometimes takes a while for them to upload it. But because this is the one from last month, I'm going to show you this. So the way CPI is calculated is there's an exact formula. So it's not just the past 12 months, but there's an exact formula. And it does take the past 12 months into consideration, and it's month over month. So as you can see, there's a total of 13 months here because they added the month of July for 2023 and they're taking away the month of July of 2022. The reason last month inflation was reported, we saw an increase, we went from 3% to 3.2% is because 
Again, July of last year, 2022, there was no change. So therefore, there being any change this year adds as an increase. Now, that is going to be the question for the month of, what's it called, August, that's going to be reported tomorrow. This is what we're going to be taking away from the formula, 0.2%. And whatever we add is expected based off of this forecast to bring us to 3.6%, okay? So pretty much they're expecting a much larger increase of 0.2% to be added. And that is why by taking this away, again, they still expect us to be at 3.6%. So that is the market's expectation. Now, how is CPI calculated? Remember, there's core CPI, and there's overall CPI. It sounds a little confusing, but trust me, as you begin to do this every day, it's less overwhelming. Overall CPI is all items that you see here. So all items, food, energy, energy services, and then commodities, foods, um, vehicles, right? Shelter services. Every line item that you see here is being calculated based off of the consumer and it determines if inflation is going up or down. And these are just line items. So this looks overwhelming too because there's a bunch of numbers. Ignore that. These are the line items that we're tracking and this is the new month. So tomorrow, once this is released, they're just going to add a new month for the month of August. And that line, right, that, that row will be the CPI based off of the line items. So based off of food, it will have a line item and it will tell us from July to August, did food go up or down? And based off of what percent, if it's like 0.1%, then I'll have 0.1%. Food at home, did it go up or down, right? In the month of August based off of the month of July. And then again, it's gonna tell us. And it's gonna do this for every single line item. Then altogether it is calculated and it will tell us for the month of July to August, right? For the month of August, did inflation go up or down? Core CPI is all items less food and energy. And core CPI has been more of a core focus for the Federal Reserve. That is really what they've been paying attention to because the monetary policy that they put into effect only influences core CPI. It's hard to affect overall energy prices and food prices when raising or pausing interest rates, again, because it has no actual impact, but it does have an impact on consumer goods. And those are, again, being able to buy new vehicles, use vehicles, apparel, medical care services, shelter, transportation, uh, and again, medical care services. So again, it might seem overwhelming, but I can reassure you it's not. And all this is, is again, it's just a different chart in the way that this is calculated. This was the peak and this was at 9.1%. I'm sorry. Uh, this was just back to July of 2022. So this is when we came back from 9.1%. Um, and it's just calculating where all items. So this is overall CPI. Currently, right, we're at 3.2%. This is why you see the line item of 3, 3.2%. Last month, we we're at 3%. And then this uh, series of data um, is core CPI. Core CPI is, of course, a little bit higher than overall CPI. So that's something to take into consideration. Um, that's really just it. Again, we're going to be paying attention to CPI, core CPI, and then I'm going to, once the report is actually released, I'm going to determine and break this all down for you in that live stream. Uh, we'll go line by line item by line item, and I will show you, you know, what food increased or decreased by, uh, food away from home, food at home, all the way down to medical care services. And then we will come up with the uh, full understanding of where CPI is, where core CPI is, and then we will watch the market react to this data. It's really interesting, especially if you're trying to get into the market. I think it's important for you to really immerse yourself um, in these kind of reports because they really do influence the overall market. Uh, obviously, when these reports are released, there's a lot of volatility that presents itself. And with great volatility, comes great responsibility. It's probably not a time that you want to trade if you're an absolute beginner, um, as again, there could be quick changes of direction. But it's just cool to experience and to even watch if you never have before. I would love to answer any questions you might have before this actual report is released, and you're more than welcome to send me a direct message via Discord or via Instagram, and that's the first or third link in the description down below. Remember, I literally respond to all of my direct messages it's just up to you if you want to take time to reach out. And I do want to remind you, again, I work with one team and one team only. That is my LPP team. Just so you can see where I closed out the day, $2,100 on the day on TQQQ and on SQQQ, 19.8K for a total $21,900 day. Again, this is not an average day for me. I made the most of it based off of market performance and I closed out my day. I closed out my trades. I'm ready for tomorrow. I don't care if the market's bullish. I don't care if the market's bearish, right? 
We know that there's money to be made as long as we focus on one thing, and that is market direction. If the market begins to sell off, I'll go short. If the market begins to go up, I'll go long. Very, very simple. And I'm excited for those that tune on in for you guys to get a taste of what our Learn Time Profit team gets to experience every single day. So I really do appreciate you guys' time. I hope to see you for our CPI live stream tomorrow. Again, if you're ready to join our team, um, again, we're running our biggest discount. It's $175 off. It's the second link in the description down below. It is a one-time payment, lifetime access. And yes, it is the only service that I offer. And it's a, it gives you the ability to be able to watch me trade live every single day. So it's that simple. You either want access or you do not, right? There's no reason to overcomplicate it. If you're ready to join our team, second link in the description down below. I really do appreciate your time. Like always, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take it easy team.